Hi, Scorpio. <laughs> it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. I'm here to do your May 2019 reading. I want to thank you for all your support and your likes and shares and comments and everything uh, that you do for me. Love hearing where you're from, too. I've uh, made a map and I'm starting to mark people. Uh, so if you tell me where you're from, tell me what town, like, because uh, I'm marking it all with pins on my map. It's kind of cool. Um, it helps me connect to you, too, you know. Um, also, um, the next videos uh, will be based on the amount of likes, so hit that like button if you like the video. Um, also, I want to give a shout out to Charlie's Angels Tarot. Uh, she's a lady um, living in Germany, and she does a lot of lives. Pick a card. Very nice lady. Good energy. So I just wanted to give a shout out to her. Um, also, what else do we got here? What else do we got? I guess that's about it. Just going into the fifth month. It's our planting season. They call it the planting corn moon. And um, so it's when we take our seedlings and we transplant them and we put them into the ground now. Well, up here in Canada, I should say. On the other side of the world, they're getting ready for uh, winter. It's fall. Their, their fall is beginning. They're getting ready for winter. So we're all getting ready, right? All right. <sighs> the message is for Scorpio. May 2019, Scorpio. May. 2019. All right, what do we got for Scorpio? What do we got? I'm using the Druid Craft Tarot and I'm going to highlight it with the playing cards. It's been my sort of thing lately that I've been doing. It works. If it's not broken, don't fix it, right? <laughs> so let's see what we got. Woo! There we go. There we go. Woo. Ace of Cups, Scorpio. That just jumped out. So that's one day, one week, one month. You're going to be um, ready for love. Ready to open your heart to love. This could be love of a partner. Uh, love of a family member. Um, love of a friend. You know. Um, and somehow in your life. So we're going to throw that in the corner. I'm going to cut them now. Here's Carmelli just disturbed my whole setup. She likes to sit right on the cloth, right where all the action is. <laughs> of course. Don't you, Mel? Come on, then. Get up here before I start laying up. Come on. Get up here. Let's do it. There we go. Get it down there beside me. There you go. Right there. So, what do we, no, you can't lay on there, darling. I need that space. I need it. That's my cloth. You need to find your own cloth. Ha, huh, there you are, Scorpio, coming up in your own reading. So I'm doing a past, present, future. And, um, hmm. Let's see here. And the past is now or any time before now. You know, before May, probably. Um, so, let's have a look. The first card in your past is the hangman. So it seems that in your past there was something that you were ha having a hard time letting go of. You were having a hard time. You needed to sacrifice something. Um, you felt in limbo, like you couldn't make a move. Your hands were tied. He is, his body forms the uh, number four. And fours are pauses, they're breaks for us to rethink, reconsider, um, reassess. And at, th at this point, you know, he's hanging in the tree because there's something he needs to give up in order to move on sacrificing something for the greater good. This could be a habit, 
an attitude, a belief, um, a relationship perhaps. Um, only you know what that is, but this is in your past. And then you have the King of Cups. Now, you know, normally, where's my glasses here? Normally, I would say this is you, Scorpio. But you know what? I think this could be another water sign in your life. Um, this is perhaps what you need to sacrifice. Also, the, the, the sacrifice might be exposing your feelings, expressing your feelings. This king has a lot of feelings, has a lot of deep um, emotions, but he's not getting out of his chair. You know, he's not making a move to express those. He's withholding them, you know. The dog, which represents loyalty and friendship, is behind his chair. It's behind him. And the harp here, leaning against the chair, is the instrument of the angels. So you feel divinely guided, but yet there's a there's a fear here, perhaps of maybe not even a fear, reluctant, reluctant, I should say, um, to expose. I, you know, I feel like you feel like you'll be you'll be exposing yourself. You're completely open to someone coming and expressing their feelings, but I don't think you're ready to quite take that step and do it yourself the other thing is um here is another four so look at that this king is is surrounded by two fours the one the man is making with his body and this four of swords and the, this four of swords is also a pause this is a pause to reconsider there's you found out some truth here you know, and now you decided what you're going to do with that truth, how you're going to proceed. But you need to give this a lot of thought before you make your move. He's also sitting quite up high, so now he has more clarity on the situation, on the plan. And so here's this king, possibly you, Scorpio, or another water sign, Cancer, um, Pisces. Here's you in the middle of this pausing you know you can't go back you can't move forward and I think you're realizing something you're realizing something I think you're realizing there's something that you have in your life that isn't working for you it's it's not um you know and these two fellas two here are facing each other and it's like facing the truth facing the truth this is not a god-awful truth like look at there's the sun's rising there's a break in the clouds um so it's just deciding how you're going to handle this but you're i think you're facing the truth now and maybe that's what you couldn't do before in the hanged man you didn't want to face something you didn't want to deal with it um, you were pausing. I don't think you really knew why at the beginning. You know, you didn't really know why. You didn't know what your plan was. But now you have a cl way clearer idea of, of um, your new game. You know, your new plan. How you're going to move forward. I think it's on the emotional realm because this Ace of Cups jumped out. And I, and I said, it's like you're ready to open your heart again, where before you weren't. You were probably bound. He's, he's gagged by the mouth. He's gagged. Um, he's hung upside down by his feet and his arms are tied. So he's completely unable to contribute in any way you know, in any way. Um, so, and this is so your past energy. Unable to contribute, unable to express yourself, on um, feeling um, stuck, okay? But I think the way, I think the clouds are dissipating now. 
Um, so the first card in your present, which is now or over the next couple of weeks, is the Ace of Pentacles. This is a new opportunity for a source of income. Could be a new source of income. Could be a new idea you have for a source of income. Um, this, you may not be telling people about it right now because this is like the honey hole. The bear has found this, oh Jesus, it's just full of salmon and he's protecting his source of um, nutrients, you know, his his source of survival. So, um, so this is an idea you want to protect. Um, and you, it's a real uh, sweet spot for you, you know. Um, I think you can see a lot of potential. And this, this, uh, this honey hole for the bear, I keep calling a honey hole, that's what fishermen call a place where all the fish is, you know, they found a honey hole. And, um, so he's protecting this because he can see it lasting him a while. Um, into the future, you know, it's going to be a source of income for a while. So this is why you're protecting this idea, this plan, this perhaps a job opportunity. You might not be talking about it because then everybody will apply for it. Something like that. So it's a new opportunity for you. And I think it's after you decided to face the truth, it's opening a door for you. It's opening a door for you. And here you go. You know, there's the chariot. This woman, warrior, um, is uh, ready to take off. The sun is just beaming behind her. And she's finally gotten control over her two warring sides. These horses, if she didn't have a hold of, stronghold of those reins, they'd run off wildly in opposite directions because they are opposite. And so this is when you get control over your opposites, your warring sides. And, and, and then you're able to really focus on where you're going, okay? Also, I want to mention she has a green cloak and um, green skirt there. That's I think that's about self-healing. You know, she's she's um, she realizes she can protect herself without giving up on love, giving up on um, you know, being open. Also, um, she has the blue on her chest and stomach. And and it's not armor. It's just cloth. So she's not as guarded anymore. She's a lot more confident in her direction. She has this giant wand. And I, every time you see a giant wand, to me, it's about evolving. You know, you've grown, you've evolved, your wand has gotten longer because it's, you know, it's like another notch on your wand um, to, um, to speak of your experience, you know, um, the, what, what a person has been through. Um, anyway, you could be traveling, you could be moving. Um, I think you're traveling. You're going to be traveling. Now, I, uh, um, I think it's traveling on land. Um, but it could have something to do with this new pursuit, this new source of income that you're pursuing. It may involve travel. You know, like there used to be traveling salesmen and they go all around and travel city to city and and um, there's also uh, area representatives for products um, and that go around and promote the product. Uh, but you're going to be traveling and I think in pursuit of this, this, this sweet idea, this sweet idea. Um, and then you have the Seven of Swords. 
The Seven of Swords is trying to figure out how to solve some sort of conflict, opposing opinions. opinions. It doesn't have to mean like literally arguing, but maybe someone doesn't agree with you and that kind of stops you in your tracks. You're not able to move forward until you figure this out. It could be negotiation. There could be some sort of negotiations you have to do and uh, signing a contract or renegotiating a contract um, because it doesn't work for you or it's not working for them. So you're back at the drawing board trying to figure out what you're willing to accept and not accept. Both sides have to figure that out. You could be working late into the night. Um, also could disturb your sleep how to try and figure this out, you know. Um, but it stops you in your tracks. This is something you got to figure out. And I think it's got something to do with this new source of income. You know, you might be trying to figure out how to please everybody. You know, how am I going to please everybody? Well, you can't. And so you... I think there's some sort of conflict, some sort of opposition you need to face. And also you need to negotiate this. You know, this is going to require some thought, some finesse, I do believe. Okay? Now in your future, you have the Princess of Wands. The future is probably the last couple of weeks of May. Now, the Princess of Wands, sometimes she represents gossip. It's communication. The, a lot of princesses represent um, messages, like the page. So this is communication. It's communication that could hurt. Or this person is reluctant to deliver it because it's going to start... It's going to hurt somebody. You know, it's... It, um, She's holding this message, this, this sword, right by the blade, not by the handle. So this is a, a truth or information communication that's going to hurt. Like I said, sometimes it can be gossip or talk. The, um, they used to say at work, the drums are beating. That means people are talking about you. And uh, that was the secret code to let you know that people are talking about you around here, you know. Um, now, hmm, let me see, you know, She's kind of got a hazy sun behind her. It's hazy. And you can see it's in the spring. All these plants are coming out. And she's surrounded. She's in 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 um she's wrapped up in her emotions. This message could be delivered with spite on purpose. It someone is hurt and so they want to hurt you know, um, hmm. I'm getting the idea that, um, I think this is an old hurt. I think this is an old hurt and someone's either trying to hurt you or maybe you want to repair this because then you have the Prince of Cups and the Prince of Cups is in pursuit of love. Um, now the Prince of Cups also could be It doesn't have to be a love relationship. It can be a family or a friend, a, a co-worker. Um, I think that this is about repairing damage that was done. Um, this could be an apology. 
this could be um you know what it really reminds me of you know and this is probably just for some of you you know when people go through AA and after they've you know I'm not sure what step it is along the way but they have to go around and make amends they have to say sorry to the people they've wronged and this is what it reminds me of like that's what came to mind he he wants to apologize he wants to mend he wants to um fix this pain he may have caused hurt he may have caused so this could be like an apology coming in um I right i i feel like it's writing a wrong or um making amends or something i'm really getting a strong feeling here and then you have the three of wands and the three of wands is about growth it's about moving forward with your pen he's waiting he's paused here he can see the road before him and he's just kind of um preparing himself he's ready to grow he's ready to sprout up higher than the rest and do better and really um nurture his project okay because wands are usually project of achievement we're heading toward he's heading toward his achievements here and he's ready to grow what he you know the seeds you've planted <laughs> coincidentally enough ready to grow the seeds you've planted you also may ready to grow um in relationship because like i said and this is it, it is growth you know when we make amends we are growing emotionally we are we are growing we're it's sprouting us we're evolving um there's something here um it could be another water sign that you perhaps want to make amends to. It could be someone younger than yourself. Um, but it's like you could be opposites too, even though you're both water signs, highly emotional. But, you know, here, back here, this king, he's not out of his chair. He's sitting there. He has deep emotions, but he's not willing to express them. And here, this knight is like, he's willing. He's, I'm ready now. I'm ready. Um, I've, I've, you know, I've sorted out my, my two sides that says, you know, be careful. Love is dangerous. Or be careful. They burned you before. Or, you know, he, he has worked those out. And now he's ready to move forward. Not afraid of his emotions anymore. You know, they're not black like, just black like that. You know, he's, he sees both sides now. So, um, this is really interesting. It's huge developments for you, Scorpio, and, which is really lovely. So let's get some clarification from the playing cards, shall we? Just got my pink rose ones. One of these days I'm going to get new cards, but like I said, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. Whoa, look at that. King of Spades. So this is a very dark-eyed man. Dark brown or black eyes. Um, could even be dark-featured. Black, Hispanic, East Indian, perhaps. Um, but he's cunning. He's known as to be a cunning person. Could be a widower as well um because sometimes he's thought of as the jilted lover uh the you know he's the scorned lover yeah the scorned lover but anyway this guy is very sharp minded he's um he's cunning like I said, cunning. He he doesn't always consider people's feelings when he when he makes moves. Okay, and that reminds me of that. This could be you, Scorpio. You know, or could be the person you're dealing with. Could be that family member. Could even be the father figure. Um, 
sometimes even though you don't like it, he could be the voice of reason. You know, because sometimes the voice of reason isn't always saying things that we want to hear. You know, it's things we must face. And maybe he's that person that's in the four of the Four of Swords saying, you know, you're not really looking at the whole picture here. Here's a business meeting, perhaps with your banker. Sometimes I see this King of, of um, Spades as a banker, actually. So you might be mis meeting with a financial person to discuss your finances. Could be about that Ace of Pentacles, eh? What else do we have for Scorpio? What are the messages for my Scorpio? Looks like a lot of stuff's going on emotionally um, here this month. Ooh, four clubs, so there's another four. That is your third four, even though the hangman is not literally a four. <clears throat> but the four of clubs is undecided business. So I, I think you're not sure if you should move for, forward with this. Um, you may not be getting the support you were hoping for. And so, you know, it's a pause again. It's undecided. You're at the crossroads and you're thinking, of, do I want to put my energy into this? Eight of hearts. I'm going to need something else with that. With that eight of hearts. It's friendly. It's friendly talk. Maybe even flirting. Maybe even flirting. So you could be moving. You could be moving in with someone, I'm wondering, because this is friendly talk about the Ten of Clubs is like completion with one place, in, and I think moving um, in with a friend. You could be moving in with a friend. Um, you know, and maybe that's the growth that this Knight of Cups is, is moving toward. Maybe that's the growth, you know. I think you're moving. Sometimes that chariot means you're moving. You know, a change of residence, that's what the travel is about. Uh, that Ace of Pentacles could be a change of residence because like I said, that bear's ha found a honey hole and he ain't leaving. He's like, no, this is a good investment. I ain't leaving here, are you kidding? You see all the fish in there? <laughs> Do you see all the fish in there? I notice there's a lot of ferns around the tree. I don't know what ferns mean. Does anyone know what ferns represent? I know they're very uh, touchy plants. They're extremely temperamental. If you move them from one space to another, well, they'll die. You know, and if you touch them, they don't like to be touched. They're very sensitive. Very sensitive. Huh. There is the Queen of Spades and the Three of Spades. So this this Three of Spades is an obstacle. This person, this woman, could be trying to make an obstacle. And I wondered if there was one. You know, I was wondering if this message, this gossip, was out of spite because they're hurt and they want to make you hurt or vice versa. I see it. I, I think it's pointed at you, though. And they're going to drop the bomb. And um, they're, it could be causing, made an obstacle for you, you know. She has dark eyes, probably dark hair. She's the woman scorned. Could be a widow. Could be... She's blocking something, though. She's blocking what you want to do. And so... She's trying to create obstacles. She's mad at you. She's mad. I think it's not a good energy. <laughs> you made her mad. This could be you, Scorpio. Maybe you're mad. You know, maybe you're really pissed and and you're you've put walls up perhaps around you or you're making obstacles for someone else who maybe messed you around or something like that. But I'm going to tell you that um, revenge is not sweet. It's not. Uh, it's fine if karma, people get their own karma back, and you're like, hmm, you know, I knew that was going to happen. But to serve revenge, I have never 
had a good feeling from that, you know, giving back someone their just desserts sort of thing. Because it sure did hurt when I when I got it, and and it's and I don't know. It just doesn't feel good, you know. I think people make their own karma. If they make bad karma, it's going to come back somewhere along the way. It always does. You know, and, and usually not from the same source. That's why when it hits you, you're like, whoa, hey, what did I do to them? Well, you didn't do anything to them, but you did something to three three relationships back or whatever, the guy down the street or something, you know. Not you did, Scorpio, but people in life kind of thing. Um, I think you might be trying to make amends. Um... Yeah, okay, here's the last card. Whoa, 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 whoa. The Nine of Spades and the Nine of Diamonds. Hi, 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 don't start, don't start, don't. No, hey, no. Uh, these are both, like, nines are about, Carmela, um, are about change. You know, you're going to have a lot of change in your life in the next little, I'd say three weeks. Um, I think this, there could be a health issue. There could be a health issue. Um, also, there could be um, travel, but not a good trip. Like this is, sometimes this is travel under, over water. This is also a change of fortune. But this, you know, a, a bad situation gets better, is what it's saying. This is, is it's, um, you're blocked. You're, you're, you can't get to your goal. But it starts out as a bad situation that improves. Um, and it's going to cause change. Um... This also might be a situation where you may have gotten turned down for something before and then you get approval, you go back and reapply and tweak your application or tweak your, um, you maybe get a cosigner or something like that. I don't know. And, and you turn things around because this is really turning things around. Okay. So, my darlings, I really hope this makes sense to you. I'd love to hear in the comments. Um, so, please like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to like because the videos are based on likes this month. And also, um, I've started teaching tarot. It's called the U of T, Tinker. And um, I'm starting new classes once a month. And um, I'm using the Mythic Tarot by Juliet Sharman Burke and Liz Green. It's based on Greek mythology. I'm using that as the teaching tool. And also, oh, I'm available for personal <laughs> readings. You can follow di directions in the box below or email me at tinkertarotreadings at gmail.com. And, um, yeah, so if you're interested in the tarot school, the U of T, you can also email me at that same address and I can give you the information you need. Anyway, have a good month, Scorpio, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.